Okay, so this is a uh, anatomical splint for a patellar, a posterior hip dislocation. Uh, so the first thing I would get um, would be my helper to manually stabilize above and below the joint. So my marking on ASIS and just below the greater trochanter. Um, I don't have uh, an extra helper today, so I'm just going to have the uh, patient manually stabilize themselves. Um, next, I would check PMS. So can you feel me touching you? Yeah. Can you wiggle your toes for me? and fetal pulses are present. Yeah. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, run um, some stabilization um, above the joint. Making sure I'm line marking around the greater trochanter and ASIS coming across. I would pad the area. On both sides. to be bringing a pillow in between. Extra padding on the outside to support the knee and the hip. Then be adding some extra padding in the middle. To try to do is bring the non injured side close to the injured side. We're just going to bring the leg straight and we're just going to try to bend the knee ever so slightly, keeping an anatomical position. That comfortable? Yep. Just got a little bit more padding. I'm going to bring this underneath so it's more comfortable for the patient. Add this in the middle. Next, we're going to scooch our ties. I'm doing above and below. Making sure to avoid the knee joint. And lastly at the bottom, ankles. So I'd first secure the one at the top, so just to reiterate, I'm um, not going over the greater trochanter, but I'm landmarking ASIS uh, across the pubic bone and securing on the side.
my knots are reef knots. Okay, not too tight. Good. Making sure all my ends are tucked in. And I'm going to check PMS. Can you feel me touching you? Yeah. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Present. How does that feel? Good. Not too uncomfortable. As comfortable as it will be. Yeah. Okay, so just uh, taking a look. So my marking at ASIS, making sure not to go over greater trochanter, splinting along the outside at the feet, hips above and below, and making sure my ties are secure. And we would not be moving this patient um, until EMS arrived.